Hi everybody, hi every spirit, welcome very much to my YouTube channel, Esoteric Cloud Surfer here, ready to talk about Mercury in astrology. Before we start the video, I wish everybody the best thoughts, ideas, feelings and emotions and a whole bunch of individuality, creativity and responsibility as well. Check the link trees in the description down below to know more about my and my minds and my beautiful partners content as well. Let's get started with Mercury. So Mercury is the planet of communication, analysis, thinking uh, in logical ways, intelligence, scientific knowledge or literary knowledge, mathematical knowledge, biology knowledge. You know what I'm saying? It's also the planet that is connected with social learning skills or social interactions and it's the planet that is mostly associated with the mind but there is a misunderstanding in there because what we call the mind is only one of our many minds and what we call mercury is only the external it's only the logical and realistic part of that mind because that is also the internal and subconscious part of your mind and Mercury most times cannot reach the depths of that mind, okay? And we can say that the whole world is fixed and kind of lost in a more logical and realistic perspective and many times it ignores and hurting themselves, but they do, they ignore their internal intelligence, their emotional intelligence, their subconscious capabilities and powers, right? And those are very important because they allow you to see and know more about yourself and your surroundings, but also the subconscious realm or the things in the subconscious realm, they cause things in the external realm. They are the reason, okay, the things within you as well they are the reason why things externally happen so if you don't know about them how can you know about the outside so many people that spend 50 years in school they still don't know anything because they don't know how they cause things to happen you know that's a great example actually but mercury is not the bad guy because if we couldn't think and communicate in clear ways about our internal realm if we couldn't make sense out of our subconscious realm, we will never be able to create connections, relationships and societies that will be stable because it will be just a mess, right? So we use Mercury to communicate some parts, the parts that we can see, the parts that we can analyze of all of our minds, okay? Mercury is that as well. Astrologically, or yeah, because this is all astrology, but when I say astrologically speaking, it's like in more relatable terms, okay? Because you, I think you can't hear anybody said about Mercury what I just said. Or only a few people say that spirits create the planets, but that's also astrology. But then when I say astrologically speaking, it's like Mercury rules this, Mercury likes that. You know what I'm saying? That's astrologically speaking, all right? So astrologically speaking, Mercury rules Gemini, mutable air, its external and masculine and expressive part. It rules the third house. It rules Virgo, its internal feminine receptive side, and it rules the sixth house. Mercury is exalted in Aquarius and it falls, it's asleep in Leo, all right? Mercury does not like to be in Aries, Pisces, Sagittarius, Cancer, Cardinal Water, and Scorpio, and Mercury and Leo, did I say Leo? Mercury does not like to be in Leo, and Mercury likes to be in Aquarius, Virgo, Gemini, Taurus, Capricorn, Capricorn, and Libra. Basically, Mercury does not like to be in all signs that are more emotional, more internal, more subconscious and more spiritual. Mercury likes to be in every sign that is more realistic, less emotional, more uh, that can make more sense or more clear sense out of the spiritual realm. It's not saying that Mercury is not a spiritual planet. It is, everybody is. 
every planet is spiritual, but Mercury is we making sense out of the spiritual realm. So Mercury, your own Mercury does better when you use it in those areas to make sense in a clear way about the subconscious realm, okay? By the way, if you don't know a lot about your Mercury alignment and you want to know more about it or any other alignment, I do natal chart and tarot readings as well. You can contact me via DM on Instagram or via my Discord server. Over there on IG and on Discord, you can also know what type of services I have available and you can reach both those pages, the Instagram and the Discord by using the link tree on my description down below or you can contact me via email, which is also in the description down below. So thank you very much for watching and let's go. By Gemini being its external part, it means that naturally people in this realm like to associate and spread out their information and logical ideas on a way that is way less personal, it involves way less feelings, but also that maintains a flux of connection and sharing. That's the mutable aspect of Gemini. And by the way, I, re I don't know if you notice this pattern, but both signs that Mercury rules are mutable. So in itself, the spirit that created Mercury is learning or going through some experiences that is about mutability, connecting more, being more flexible, being more gullible, have a little bit less structure and consistency in its own individuality, all right? And that's exactly what both Gemini and Virgos can lead to, a lack of structure and a lack of consistency in their minds, basically. Then Virgo takes that a bit more deeper and a bit more serious, but Gemini also do it sometimes. Either they don't give a fuck, they don't realize it, or they, they just think they're playing games with themselves, okay? But also, by Virgo being the internal feminine and recipient, recipient, receiving, receiving part of Mercury, that means that we like to worry, aka think in a more serious way, okay? We like to worry with situations that are realistic, practical, that also deal with survivability and safety in our lives. And we like to be more private, more strategic, and more like we have to trust more those situations. We gotta know it's efficient before we participate, or we gotta know that we can make it more efficient if we do participate in those circumstances, okay? The thing is, by being the internal side of Mercury, a lot of insecurities can lead to a personal pressure applied by the individual that many times it's not even real. It's just a feeling or an internal thing. But because Mercury is realistic and logical, Virgos can think that that feeling is real because they are seeing it more through the perspective of Mercury. So they think that that feeling, that in that internal movement is real, but it's not, okay? And why? Because they are ruled by Mercury, the Virgos, okay? And that can happen with everybody on this planet because Mercury rules Virgo. So everybody under Mercury in this space can easier than into other spaces go to that type of space, okay? Positive points about Mercury. Thinking and communicating well and fast, learning quickly, analyzing the situations in a realistic way, except when you're thinking too much, because then it, it is not real, okay? And <laughs> this is kind of funny, you are protected against emotional manipulation, either because you don't give a fuck, you think that's weak, or because you don't even realize it, okay? Then, negative points about Mercury. Thinking and communicating too much or too fast 
missing emotional touch and emotional connection, being kind of prone to mental manipulation through certain words, I love you, and then they doing something else in the back, right? And that's exactly why Mercury is kind of weak against mental manipulation, because you don't know the reason why people saying certain words, you just react to the words and you don't know that behind closed doors they have other plans to go about the situation, okay? Another negative point of Mercury, being cold and distant, thinking that others do not care about emotions and feelings as you do, but in general, everybody else worries more and is more susceptible with emotions and feelings, okay? And that's the end of today's video, guys. I hope you guys learned more about Mercury. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, check the link trees in the description down below, and enjoy yourself. Till the next time, as a today cloud surfer, surfing out.